Three, yo. What up? Carlos is back at it again with another Heritage Break full case number two. All right, let's put this on the screen. Scotty K, I can get this done in about an hour and a half. Get yeah, hour, hour and a half. Usually, it takes me longer because of the giveaways and the randoms I got to do and stuff. But about an hour. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. So I have a promo going. Every break we fill. Two hitless spots. We'll get a dice roll each of their choice. So there's that. And we also got another promo going. Every heritage break we fill four random people will be entered into a $2,500 break credit giveaway, which will take place Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So let's get these heritage breaks filled. Uh, the first Heritage had a pretty sick Nolan Ryan autograph. Yeah, Another reason why it took me a little bit longer to do the first one was because uh, I was also trying to do fillers. So there's that. Can't really run a filler for number three right now. 18 teams left. So pick your teams up, folks, and let's fill that. I got Astros, Athletics, the Blue Jays. Cardinals, D-backs, Dodgers, Giants, Indians, Mariners, Mets, Phillies, Pirates, Rangers, Rays, Rockies, Royals, Tigers, and the White Sox still left in number three. Yep. So, yep, Jimbo, I mean, uh, Scotty. Coming off the bench, about to get slammed at work. <laughs> Oh snap blob, oh snaps. I'm down. I want to knock out all eight cases that, of heritage that we have. Dude, I'm down to stay until, you know, 10 in the morning tomorrow. And then we can start filling contenders optic football. I have no problem doing that, but we got to keep filling breaks, people. I'm down to do a little marathon. I just got to run over to the vending machine and pick up a monster energy drink. All right. First box here. Let's see what we have. Got to random that. The CBJ. Oh, got it. Nah, no, no honey buns. No honey buns. That's the plan, you know, Scotty. Trying to go out Zion style. That's a big short print. But yeah, I decided not to go to the vending machine. I want to do this thing all natural. 
action image here for the Rockies are Renato. But once I start feeling, you know, myself getting tired, I'll go run and get that uh that monster. I really want to break until the break of dawn. So keep uh, filling these breaks for your boy. And then you'll see me pull a marathon. Haven't done it in a while. I'm down. My record was 22 hours straight. And I was ripping the entire 22 hours. A personal box here. A full case there. Before you know it, it's 11 in the morning the next day. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox to 999. I'm down to do that again tonight. Why not? I'll sleep in on, uh, on 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 the Friday. I got Saturday off too. I'm about to tell Jason to give me Sunday off since I covered for him uh, his two days last week. Boom. Whoa, Joe Pa, that's that was uh, inappropriate. Mainly because I have a dirty mind. Any fun shops? <laughs> well, the fun, the funnest would be uh, in my car, cause you know I got a little shumpton shumpton in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got the medicine. If you uh, catch my drift, that's a base short print. There's a uh, Cabrera there. Uh, yes, Scott, they have the hot boxes, which are like purple cards and stuff. Pretty nice looking. About one of those per box, or I should say one per case, I'm sorry. Yo, Mr. Cra you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I, I hear some noises here and there. Whoa! Corbin Burns with the red ink auto. That's what I'm talking about. There we're, we're heating up here, baby. 67 out of 70. Hand numbered on card auto with the red ink too. Might be a hot case here. Oh boy. Not a bad way to start, especially if you got the brew crew. That Nolan Ryan auto was pretty sweet that I uh, that I had got in the first case. Check the Miami checklist. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Louise, there are no case hits in this product. Yeah, I read in the chat the Nolan Ryan you said was going for three hundred bucks. All right, y'all, let's start filling the next case. Number three is at eighteen. Louise, don't pay any mind to the boys in the chat. They're just being dumb. Boys will be boys. Don't pay them no mind. They don't know how to act in the presence of a lady. Number three's at 17 left right now. 
working that thing down. Let's fill that number three. Come on, let's keep the mojo rolling. some stuff so I got space here I could use a bigger desk I'm gonna have to ask Santa Claus for one this year see if I get one all right oh don't start this bullshit of fucking cards facing one way and the other please please stop why 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 are you doing this to me why Oh God, please stop. Well, at least it's only two cards. That looks like an action image. Aaron Judge of the Yankees. A little action image for you. That's a creepy smile. Dude, why? Why are they doing this to me? Everything was fine until they started putting cards facing all different types of directions. It's only two, but it's a pain in the, in the ass. Alright, I'm done crying about it. Short print there for the judge man. That's a base short print there. Acuna for the Braves to uh, 9999 Skills map skills I'm like the only breaker that actually breaks heritage Everyone else stays far far away from this stuff so I have the uncanny ability to look at a card from the front and pretty much tell whether or not it's an error card. But it's like you say, the only way to truly know is to look at the back of the card. I just have done enough of this that I can look at it and be like, hey, that's different. As far as the color swaps, it's, it, it'll just be like a different color. Uh, I had pulled a Bryce Harper in the last one, and usually it's black for the Nationals. It was yellow uh, for the team color swap. So when I seen it, I was like, that's different. And sure enough, it was the team color swap. But yeah, it, it, it's really tough to catch. The, the best way is to just look at the back of the card. But, you know, to the, to the untrained eye, to the trained eye, you can kind of look at it and be like, hey, that's... That's different. Like this Cal Tucker on card. Back to back autos here for the Astros Cal Tucker. Very nice.
Plus, it also helps that uh, I have to go through all these at the end of the night. So there's also that. Rockets making a comeback here on the heat, which uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. You know, that's kind of just how we do things. Can't just blow a team out. No, we got to let them back in. Make the game interesting. What the heck is going on with PJ Tucker here? That's a big short print. James Harden was pushing the crap out of PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker getting kicked out the game. What did he do? Got tangled up with Goran Dragic there. Yeah, that's not, that doesn't warrant a, uh, a boot. I, I miss old school basketball, man. No blood, no foul. Same with football. Remember when they used to actually tackle people in football? I remember. Uncle Jesse remembers. With the oh my god, yo, this man, cheese. Wow, James Harden, get that weak shit out of here. Bam out of bio with the stuff. Oh. This uh, Heat Rockets game is uh, heating up. <laughs> See what I did? All right, this is box three. What you got for me? All cards facing one direction, please. Pretty please. That would be awesome. Two. 
That's a B sharp print. How do you buy is? Flashback card to random. What the heck is that guy doing? That's a B sharp print. Excuse me. Here we got a relic for Nomar Mazara, Rangers. A little Pacharoni. I, I thought that was Tony Gonzalez for a second. <laughs> he looked like Tony Gonzalez anyway. Jason Witten coming out of retirement. Randomly. Padres rookie stars to 570. That's an action image, apparently, for Luis Urias of the Padres. Action image there. Oh man, Derek Jones with the sick put back dunk. That is a. Uh, not yeah the R the the RCs the are kind of tough to come by box four where are we at on number three? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Number three, down to 12 spots left. Hell yeah. Let's fill that some bitch. The Heat with a 12-point lead on the Rockets on the road heading into the fourth quarter. Now, as a Heat fan, I am not excited because this is nothing. We, we can't get a big enough lead. Ah, Louise with a good question here. Uh, what's everyone's favorite Topps product? Since we're talking, well, I'm going to keep it baseball here. Uh, I, this, this is, is, I think Inception is Topps. That's my favorite baseball product, Inception. I just absolutely love that product. So for me, Topps Inception. Baseball. Ah, definitive is another good one, but that is for the fancy, fancy, fancy.
All right, since we're at it, transcendent. That's that's the greatest of them all, right there. Gypsy Queen is nice, Louise. That's a good product. Hell yeah, Gypsy Queen. Uh, is 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 Alan and Ginther tops? I think so. That's a funky product. We usually get a couple cases of Gypsy Queen. That's a fun product to rip. Cards are gorgeous. To me, anyway. Let's see. The oh, Mondo! Oh! The nickname! Variation! See? You got, got, gotta have the eye! You got, you know, usually I would have passed it up, but something, you know, the, the breaker uh, mojo came into effect for the Nationals Bryce Harper Mondo nickname variation right there up top two. Very nice. Yeah, Louise. Yes, we are. That comes out in March, I think. Uh, I would have to check the release schedule. But we usually carry all the new products with the exception of Upper Deck and, uh, and some Leaf products too. But, you know, when it comes to Tops and Panini, we usually, you know, have a few cases of all their new stuff. Where the Philly fans at, though? They got Bryce Harper now. Scotty for the A's to nine nine nine. Let's go heat. We need this W. Down to eight spots in three. That's what I'm talking about. Let's feel that thing. This looks like an action image. It is. Glay Bear for the Yankees. The action image. This case has been uh, pretty decent so far. Come on, Heat. Don't take your foot off the pedal. Got a hand numbered. Relic here for the Yankees, Louis Severino, numbered 86 and 99. Man, Matt just took the A's. That's what I'm talking about. It no, it, dude. It, it's a it, it was it's a completely different stock. It, it's a whole completely different card. This one's glossier, whereas the other one. It's it's a it's a rougher t texture. You, you can definitely feel the difference when you when you when you rub all over it. Yeah, I like how that some of the teams have the green on there, but they have like no green in their team colors. But yet it's it's a team whatever, just things that annoy me. All right, four down, eight left. I don't even know where I'm at time wise because I've just been ripping.
Yeah, James Harden gets. I, I don't very. I don't. I don't watch the Rockets very often. But man, James Harden gets some fucking phantom calls. Louise! That's what I'm talking about. Can we fill it without a filler? I don't see why not. Let's get it done. The Heat are up by four with less than nine minutes to go. Let's go, Heat. We need this win, man. We've been winning all game. We've been whipping ass all game. We can't let up now. We need this W. See what we got in this box five. Lindor of the Indians to nine nine nine. For the Royales, Salvador Perez with a patch. Are going to pull up for three? They called some random ass foul. Oh, God. I can see why people don't like James Harden. A short print there. For the Angels, the black variation, rookie stars, Fletcher and Ward on that. Oh, that was a massive three-point shot by Goran Dragic. We haven't scored in a few minutes there. That was huge. And Altuve, base short print here. 
And then, of course, back to back. We're just trading threes there. We can't do that, man. We cannot. Come on, boys. We're usually a good uh, defensive team against the three. We've got our work cut out for us against the Rockets, but uh, come on, boys. We've been dominating this entire game. Bring it home. Anyways. So four spots left in number three. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. This is box six right here. Four teams left in number three. What are the four teams? Blue Jays, Rays, Rockies, Tigers. Blue Jays, Rays, Rockies, and the Tigers. Remain in heritage number three. Yeah, buddy. This is true, JMS. This is very true. But the Heat, I'm telling you, man, as a lifelong Heat fan, I'm telling you, no matter what year, what iteration of the Heat it is, that's just kind of how we do. But yeah, it's definitely tough to, to win them back-to-back, -back, especially when you travel. But the Heat just have a bad habit of, one, playing down to their competition, and uh, two, letting, you know, letting big leads just, just letting them go. We'll be winning an entire game, and within the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, we just crumble and fall apart and lose the game. If we can get this win tonight, we're back in the thick of things as far as uh, playoffs. So we need this W. Big time, big time game here. We need this. We need this. Dion Waiters with the clutch three-point shot. But we got to play defense. Come on, Justice Winslow. D up on Harden. Which is easier said than done. All right. Box six. Here we go. I'm curious about those scratch. Like, I kind of want to scratch one off, but I'm not going to do that. But I kind of want to. <laughs> like, what, what, what happens when I scratch it? Like, am I going to smell his f fucking jockstrap? Like, what the hell? Is it like a bingo game? Yeah, numbers are bullshit, Jameis. I want to know who came up with that, like, oh, you have a 90, you know, 99% chance to win this game. And then you end up losing the game, like. <laughs> Let's see. Indians, Carlos Carrasco, black variation.
Oh, well, I, I mean, I don't know as far as the scratch-off cards are concerned. I'm just kind of just talking shit here. If I, if I get another one, uh, I'll see what's up with it. Blake Snell for the raise to 570. You know, like all of a sudden now it's a, it's a, you know, it's James Harden doing what he does. Creeping back up on the heat. Come on, boys. Let's bring this thing home. Been playing a great game all game long. Let's not lose it at the end. Altuve for the Astros with a patch. It's a seven-point game with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Anything can happen here. Oh, thank you very much. You know, the Heat are playing sloppy right now. Back-to-back -back turnovers. That's how you lose games. And, and we fouled a three-point shot. Come on. The Heat have to lead the league in in, uh, in three-point fouls. It would not surprise me if we did. Yeah, that's what happens when you contest everything like the Heat do. That is a big short print. All right. We're halfway through. Oh, there's a scratch off, so... Uh, each player should have his own scratch-off card. You rub edge of coin over any black space. When three outs are scratched off, the next player gets his turn. Rules are the same as baseball. You play nine full innings. And then here are the, uh, the scratch. Uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of interesting. Back to a four-point game. Come on, boys. Attack that rim. Why'd we why'd you take that deep ass three? And now it's a two-point game. Call a timeout, man! The Rockets are in an 8 0 run. Call a timeout, Spolstra. What are you doing? Do you not see your team is falling apart? Come on. We're up by two, but I can already see James Harden about to pull up for three. James Harden makes it look so easy, bro. Jesus Christ. Tano scoring run the last two minutes. And you're not going to call a timeout. It's a tie game. It hasn't been this close since the first quarter. But you're not going to call a timeout. Come on, Spolstra. Yeah, James Harden feeling it. About to pull up for three. I feel it. Pulled up for three. Damn, he airballed that shit. Coach Spo wants them to run the floor. But uh, call a timeout, man. What the hell is going on? And I told you, JMS. I told you. Don't, uh... Those numbers are bullshit.
Man, Coach Spo could have nipped this run, this, this run in the come. I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. Ah, oh, Miami Heat basketball keeps you on the edge of your seat every game. There's one thing you can't say about Heat basketball. You can't say it's not entertaining. It most definitely is. <laughs> Heritage, what you got for me? It's a big short print. Big short print there. Arietta for the Phillies to uh, 999. Jesus Christ! James Harden has 56 points? Shit! That's the most any player has ever scored against the Heat. I know that because they just put the stat sheet there on the screen. Damn, 56 points, James Harden? Making it look easy, too. Derek Dietrich for the Marlins. The black variation. Three teams left in number three. Hey. Should have that filled by the time this is done. Rockets up by one. It's going to be a free throw show now until the end of the game. Dwayne Wade. It's time to do what you do. Teach these young boys how to, how to win a fucking game. Yankees with a patch. Dayin Betances. James Harden. Killing it right now. That boy got 58, I think. Yeah, Rockets with a four-point lead. A little under three minutes to go. And that's how you lose a game. <laughs> that you're winning the entire fucking time. <sighs> I am uh, not happy right now. Louise, I love you, but that's a bad idea. Okay, okay, okay. Heat with a three-point play. They call all this BS. How does Jay how does Jay Rich get hit in the mouth? And it's a foul on him. That don't make no kind of sense, man. 
Chris Paul, dirty ass, wily ass veteran. Made a good play there. Caught him reaching in the cookie jar. I see why people hate Chris Paul. He's like the teacher's pet. That always snitches. Yes, Scotty, I got this box and four more. Sounds about right, Scotty. Sounds about right. I'm averaging about five minutes a box. Sounds about right. For the Reds, Joey Vato to 999. Gonna need another D Wade miracle here on back to back nights. Oh, D Wade with a nasty J. Still a one point game, though. We need some stops. We've been trading buckets. We need stops. Acuna with the action image for the Braves. Uh, what's up, Eric? Uh, unfortunately, none that I can think of. Man, that was a bad possession, Jay Rich. You didn't have to take that three, bruh. That's a big short print. Man, we got to get a rebound, boys. This is uh, going to be going to be the game here. Chris Paul with a clutch shot. A little under a minute to go, heat down by 3. Spolstra, I blame you. You don't know why you're saving those timeouts for. Well, I guess for now, but you should have called at least one of them when they were on that 10 0 run. Anyway, is that Greinke, the uh, D-backs patch? I, I apologize, people. But, uh, as a diehard Heat fan, this really grinds my gears. That's a big short print. <sighs> we still got it. We can, we, still, we can still win. We can still win. We can still win. Stay positive, Uncle Jesse. Stay positive. The team feeds off your energy. I'm pretty sure every sports fan feels that way. We lost because I didn't watch the game, damn it.
All right, four boxes left. Oh, dude, when it, for a Dolphins game, I'm even worse. At, at least I've seen the Heat win. When it comes to the Dolphins, I am way worse. Every word out of my mouth is a curse word. Justice, you gotta make your fucking free throws, man. God damn. Can you at least make this one? No, because you're a fucking bum. God damn it. Should have drafted Devin Booker over your bitch ass. Heat down by three. We were winning the whole fucking game. Yo, the Rockets are giving us every opportunity to, to get this game. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. 18.9 seconds left on the clock. Down by three. You got a timeout. You don't need to go for three. Just get a quick bucket. Get a quick bucket. Damn it! <sighs> well, that's the game. And uh, classic Miami Heat basketball. If I'm the Rockets... If I'm a Rockets fan, I, I wouldn't be too happy right now. It took James Harden to put up 58 points to beat the, the whack-ass Heat. We have no superstars. And you beat us. Whoop de fucking do. That's why Chris Paul and James Harden are never going to win championships. So I find solace in that. James Harden, you ain't never going to win a championship, dog. You fucking bitch ass bitch. Damn it. All right, back to Heritage. All right. Hey, there's the purple hot box we've been waiting for. Very nice. And a chance Adams Yankees auto. Boy, his eyes are low. Look like he's been smoking that stuff. Pass it to the left, man. Pass it to the left. There's that. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lord. Boy, the Heat should think they're lucky stars. I'm not the head coach. I'd have the guys running laps right now. But Jesse, it was a back to back. I don't care. We were winning the whole game. No excuse. No excuse for losing that game. Oh. All right, I'm over it. I'm over it. Let's keep it moving, babe. Let's see what we got here. Got that purple stuff, baby. That purple hot box. Finally came out to play. Got the Piscotti Black for the A's. Uh, yes, that is correct. This is the uh, purple hot box. They have the purple refractors in them. Uh, like this one right here. Orlando beat the Warriors too. Oh wow, that doesn't make things. Well, man, I mean, at least for the war, like it's the Warriors. You know what I mean? Like a loss to 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 either team, like they don't care. They, you know, they're bored. They're they're good enough to be able to lose to crap teams because they can turn it on whenever they want. But it's it's disappointing as a Heat fan because we've been we've been dealing with injuries all year long. 
And now that we're finally starting to get healthy, you know, some of our bad habits are still there. You know, we, we, we're, we play down to competition. We let teams get back in the game like we did tonight, and we lost like we did tonight. It's been... It's been like that all season long, and it's, it's just so frustrating. Hoskins, action image for the Phillies. Bro, you know what it is? Oh, my God. It's not like this is just a one-time thing. No, this is what we do. That That is what we do. It's so frustrating. Oh, it's all right, though. We'll be all right. I still think we can make the playoffs. We just got to dig deep. Got to dig deep. Got another big game coming up on Saturday against the Nets. We sh should be able to win that game, but they have been balling this year. One of the better teams in the East. They're actually in the playoffs if they were to end right now. Or if the season were to end right now, I mean. Oh, boy. Base short print. We got three boxes left. Yeah, at least what, what makes me feel better is it took James Harden to score damn near 60 points to beat us. Like, <laughs> a team without any superstars and your best player had to put up 60 to beat us. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> ah, the Heat suck. I'm willing to admit that. But damn it. If your best player got to put up 58 to beat us, your uh, championship outlook not looking too good. Rocket's going to get eliminated first round of the playoffs. Now I just sound like a hater, huh? Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Very nice, Fred. Who is better, the Heat or the Lakers? Oof. I would I, honestly, I, I gotta give it to the Lakers because I mean they have LeBron James. It's it's you know, it's really that simple. I like to think that the Heat are a better overall team, but they have LeBron James. Like, that's... We have no counter for that. Yeah, it's all right. James Harden's never going to win a championship. I'm, I'm completely happy about that. Same with Chris Paul. Both of those guys are never going to win a championship. And that puts a smile on my face. This and two more to go. We'll get that filled, no problem, Louise. No problem. Let me knock this out here. And if I have to, I'll run a filler for it, but something tells me I'm not going to have to. Or I should say, 
I won't need to. Because I know that's going to fail real soon. So I'm already looking forward to uh, number four. Uh, Heritage number four. Well, I can't watch Sports Center tomorrow. Because that's all they're going to talk about. James Harden in the Rockets with a comeback win on the Heat. <laughs> James Harden scored 58 points. Oh my God, he's so hot. <sighs> I guess I'll watch that show everybody's been talking about The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Any of y'all heard about that right there? Apparently, it's pretty awesome. I, I don't know. You might have to check that out. Speaking of, I am getting hungry. That's an action image, I believe? It is. For a Bregman of the Astros... When is the combine? That's a good one. When's the combine? That's this weekend? That's right. Kyler Murray got like his measurements in, and that's what everybody and their mama was talking about. This just did. Kyler Murray is 5 feet 10 inches and a quarter. Like, who gives a. F I mean, I, mean, I kind of care. I'm not going to lie. He has the same hands, the, the same hand size as Dwayne Haskins. It's crazy, like, the amount of stuff they measure. But all you got to do is look at the game tape. Is, is he a baller or is he not a baller? I don't care if he can run a 4-5, 40, 50-inch vertical. I don't care about none of that. What's he look like with pads in a game? Ben Zobra's Cubs patch. Oh, 9 a.m. They got the running backs working out. I can't think of any running backs in this class. Now that you mention it, the only one I know of is a former Hurricane. I think Travis Homer uh, is going to the Combine. Or, or I should say... Uh, is entering the draft. And if he is, that would be the only running back I know. He's solid. I think he'll be solid. Reminds me of James Conner. You know, this draft is going to be the, 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 somebody said it in the chat, and I never gave them props for it, so this the meat, the meat and potatoes draft, <laughs> which makes sense. There's going to be a lot of tackles, a lot of guards, a lot of meats and potatoes. <laughs> I can't, you know, I'm trying to think, like, damn, like, what, what about wide receivers or quarterbacks? Like, there's, the Slim pickings, slim pickings. Running back from Mississippi State. Who who that who that is? Who that is? Well, Louise. I mean, just looking at mock drafts. P. 
People seem to think Dwayne Haskins is going to be the first quarterback uh, picked in the draft. The uh, I think he played for Ohio State, if I'm not mistaken. But some people think Kyler Murray. Should be the number one quarterback. The big knocks on Kyler Murray is his lack of size. Like he's not, he's not tall. But he got, he has everything else. He's an accurate passer. He can throw the ball. Decent pocket presence, or, or at least knows enough to to escape the pocket and run. Use his legs. From what I've seen, he does have a little bit of a trouble going through his progressions. You know, he, he locks onto one receiver and that's it. Which most young quarterbacks do, but it's a little bit alarming. If he's supposed to be a first round pick. Haskins, on the other hand, he's just solid all around. Good size, good build, good arm, nice skill set. He just doesn't do anything great. At least in my opinion. He's just, he's solid. You know what I mean? Again, in my opinion. Whereas Kyler Murray is more of the home run hitter. Dwayne Haskins is more like... A nice solid single or double. To use a baseball analogy. Since I'm doing a baseball break. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, why... It's a base short print. That's the second box that does this to me. Why? A mini? That's to 100 Josh Hader of the Brewers with a mini. That's pretty rare. Brewers having a pretty good break. That's the first mini I've seen come out of a case. That's got to be an action image. Yep, Albie's Braves action image. Wow, wow. One box layoff. We got that nickname card. That's pretty sweet. Wow. 
what do they call Bryce Harper? Like, why is Bryce Harper's nickname Mondo, anyway? Does anybody know? It's kind of a random nickname. Mondo. Pirates patch, starting more two. You know, Louise, you probably you probably just spoke it into existence. Be short printing. One box left. Glass box mojo. Stoppers at the end. Ah, so his uncle gave him that nickname. He could do better than Mondo. Mark says, first will be Murray. Right, but Joe Paul, <laughs> exactly.
All right. Last box mojo, baby. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Especially those without a hit. Let's see what we can do here. What happened with Bryce Harper when he was with the Nationals, JMS? Did he get caught somewhere in Florida pulling a, uh, a Robert Kraft or something? That would be a no boy, you know. Especially when you just go to the Bunny Ranch in Nevada. Brock Holt, Red Sox, uh, Black Variation. Yeah, Robert Kraft for a multi billionaire. Clearly, not not giving a fuck anymore. <laughs> but when you have that much money, man, you can get away with anything. Like he surely will get away with this. And what are they gonna do? Ban him? Ban him for three games? Oh no! He's gotta watch the game from the comfort of his multi-million dollar house. Oh no! I just think it's hilarious. Like, really? The Patriots of all teams? <laughs> uh, and it's Robert Kraft. Like, not, not, not like Gronk or anything like that. It's freaking Robert Bobby Kraft, as I will call him from now on. Just Bobby being Bobby. I did not, Joe Pa. I did not. I'm sure you did, though. Lay it on me. Miles Mikolas. With the sweet mustache. With the storm brewing in the back for the Cardinals. Autographed mojo right there. Pretty sweet. <laughs> now we know who deflated the balls. <laughs> A professional ball deflator. So lay, lay it on me, Joe Pa, because I don't I don't like doing too much of that reading, unless unless there's pictures involved. What happened? Is that an action card? No, but it is a base short print. And that's going to do it for the break. Boom! How long did that take? Anyways, we do have these cards here. I'm going to just scroll through them here. I'm going to give one to each team. We have multiples. So I'm just going to give one to each team of these here. And any left over, I'll leave it up to my sorter to give the extras to whomever. But at least... Uh, each team will get one of these here. So, for example, you know, the Astros will get one, uh, the Red Sox will get one, Mets will get one, Phillies will get one, Nationals will get one, so, so on and so forth. Uh, and here are the rest of them. Alright, so every team on those cards will get at least one of each. Alright, now these need to be random. These flashback cards don't have any team assignments to them. 
So I'm going to random these all to one team. So let's roll the die. We're going to go nine times in the random. Let me knock this down. Pull the random up on the screen. There it is. Do the old copy and paste. All teams on the screen there. Going nine times. Top team gets the flashback cards. Money shot nine. Boom. Nine times. The Tigers will be receiving these flashback cards. So let me make a note of that. So Harper likes to get into it with his teammates, huh? Boom, so flashbacks going to the Tigers. Made a note of that. Awesome. Now let's see what's in these box toppers because I did save them for last. That is not how you open a pack. The Orioles uh, team card there. That's pretty sweet. There you go. Uh, Wes Parker, Dodgers. The 1970 card. Uh, Jim Schellenbach for the Senators. I forget who the Senators go to. I'll have to look that up. They used to be a team. I forget who they are. Anyway, keep it moving. Al Ferrara for the Padres. Any relation to you, Rara? I know you're watching. I have a feeling anyway. Red Sox, Bill Lee. What do we have here? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to this over here so I can put the... Uh, List up. There you go. Senators are twins, says Ryan. Oh, this one is strikeout leaders. So this should be random. We have Indians, Tigers, and Angels. So I'm going to random this real quick. But uh, let's see what's in the other box toppers. Brooks Robinson of the Orioles, the box topper. And that's not an actual autograph, in case you're wondering. Nolan Ryan. I don't know his name was Lynn. First name, Lynn. One man says twins, another man says rangers. I say I'm going to have to Google it. And uh, I'll reach a decision on my own. I'll look through the checklist and all that good stuff too. Johnny Bench Reds. We have an Otani. That's a nice looking box stopper. 
for the Angels. Again, that's not an actual autograph. Would be nice though. Labor Torres of the Yankees box topper. And we have one more. We have Al Kaline for the Tigers. All right, boom, there it is. So for this one, I'm just going to random this real quick. I got a six-sided die here. So I'm just going to assign numbers. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, here we go. The number 6, which is Mr. Messersmith down here. So this card will go to the Angels. If only I had a marker or something to mark it. That'll do. All right, so this one going to the Angels. What else we got? Well, recap time. So let me put the action images and all that stuff aside here. The only thing we count as hits are autographs, patches, and one of ones. All right, we did get a mini for Josh Hader of the Brewers. That's number to 100. Go ahead and top load that right now. All right, so these are uh, variations and whatnot. Judge Yankees uh, action, or Renato Rockies action, Urias Padres action, believe it or not, Glaber Yankees action, Acuna Braves action, later GMS, appreciate you man, Hoskins Phillies action, Bregman Astros action, Albies Braves action, that's not the, uh, the end of that, we also got this Mondo nickname card, for the Nationals, Bryce Harper. Pretty sweet. The nickname variation there. Alright, so that's nice, but unfortunately, none of those are considered hits. Only patches, autos, and one-on-ones, like I said. So, here are the hits. Mazzara Rangers. So, they're in the green. Let me put this so it's easier for me to read. All right, Rangers. Where the hell are the Rangers? Oh, there they go. Boom, in the green. David Tunn says Yankees. There you go, Yanks. Altuve of the Astros. With a patch. Perez Royals. Go Granky D backs that's the wrong color. Green for go, baby. Green for go. Zobra's Cubs. The best things in life are green. At least that's what they tell me. And Marte Pirates patch. Where are the pirates? There they go. All right, as far as autographs, oh, there was also this uh, Severino for the Yankees to 99. Almost forgot about that one. All right, autos, though. We got Miles Mikolas for the Cardinals with that sweet, sweet stash of his. Chance Adams, Yankees autograph, looking high as a kite. Must be the sun in his eyes. Kyle Tucker, Astros autograph, and... The red ink auto to 70 for the Brewers, Corbin Burns. There you go, Brew Crew. Very nice. So that was the break. 
Now, if your team is in green, congrats. You either got to autograph a patch or a one-on-one. Everyone else, not so good. So, Uncle Jesse's going to do a little something-something for you. Two hitless spots will win a dice roll. So, what I'm going to do is get everyone's name, throw them in a randomizer. The top name gets their, uh, gets their pick as far as which dice roll they want to do. Second spot still gets their pick, but, you know, one spot less, given that the top spot gets their choice of the three. And the second spot will get to choose between the other two. All right. So let's go ahead and copy the names. Come over to the random. We rolled a nine earlier, so let's go with that. Paste the names. These are all the names of the folks that did not get hits. Top spot gets to pick their dice roll. Second spot will choose between the other two. Here we go. Good luck. And there's that $2,500 giveaway to do as well, which I will do after this. And that one is amongst everyone. All right, Money Shot 9, good luck. Boom, nine times. Congrats to Aiden Fitzpatrick. Or I should say Alden Fitzpatrick. You get your first choice of uh, which dice roll you want to do. And Chris, you get to pick after him. So congrats to the two of you. Let's put that there. Paste that. Boom. Let's get rid of that because that will confuse me. Now, let's do the $2,500 giveaway. Four random spots in every Heritage case break we fill will be thrown into a random where you could win up to $2,500 on, uh, on Sunday. So, there's everyone's name. We're going to go nine times. Top four will advance into the $2,500 giveaway taking place this Sunday, March 3rd. All right, here we go. And the money shot. Good luck. Boom. Nine times. So top four spots are Fabrice, Reed, Eric, and Joe Pa. Congratulations to the four of you. You advance and have a chance to win up to $2,500 in break credit. And that was the break. Thank you, everyone.